Steve Zabriskie. We're in Portland, Oregon, Apple Music Row, world-renowned music store. Today we're going to talk with Toby Worthington. How you doing, Steve? About guitars. Welcome to Apple. Maybe get into some amps, some effects. Kind of go over what you should probably be doing, looking for, and uh, the questions you should be asking when you go out to purchase uh, your first, second, third, or hundredth guitar. Start off with the GNL product, which uh, handmade in Fort in California. A company founded by Leo Fender back in the uh, early 80s. This is a Phyllis Fender signature model, number 91 of 100. When uh, GNL builds these guitars, they don't build a lot of them. They build them one at a time. It's a completely handmade. They do their own pickups, they make their own bridges, and they use top quality electronics, swamp ash for bodies, and hard rock maple for the necks. The fit and finish on the fretboard, everything is beautiful. Yeah, well, G and I would consider that to be for this style of guitar one of the top of lines you can get out there on the market these days. Now, if you were to order one, you can order it you however order you want. Any color, you can order any fretboard radius, you can order any back of the neck carve. You Electronics. Can order, like you can change pickups. They build their own, but you can actually order them with other brands in them if you want. Say Seymour's. Right. You can get them with the locking tremolos. You get locking tuners. All the stuff that, if you're going to play professionally, you want the goodies. You want the stuff that makes your guitar stay in tune, show after show, stage after stage, on tour. Not everybody stays home. So mm -hmm. let's play it. You can get... A beautiful guitar, still a swamp ash body, still the American pickups by the same manufacturer. They just build the neck and the body in Indonesia and then they put the American parts on it. So basically, their labor basically is what they're it's saving a labor on. Cost factor, see, yeah. Little bird's eye. Yeah, see, they use top Yeah, yeah they're words. not. Yeah. Nice guitars. Nice guitar. Same tone and sound because it's the same electronics, same same type of wood. Of course, the price is half of uh, or more. There's an incentive. You, uh, <laughs> your high end guitar, handmade in Maryland. This is a Paw Reed Smith and uh, custom 24 with the bird inlays. Ten top flame maple and uh, quite a gorgeous mahogany back set neck. Paw Reed Smiths can be got with a tremolo or not. They have a five way selector switch here and then you got a volume and a tone and sometimes you can get them with a rotating knob here and a three-way switch instead or just two volume tone and a rotator push pull there's options paul will build any guitar you want and now he once again we're at the at $2,500 level and this is uh what That's we a consider nice a very professional tool to trade yes that uh and they make their own pickups they make their own pickups they make their own bridge parts they use locking tuning keys because with a tremolo, every time you whammy bar it, you basically untune your guitar and retune it again when the bar comes back to place. But the windings around the peg heads don't always go back in the same place. And this one's a little thinner it's a little than thinner, a Les Paul. A little lighter weight than a Gibson Something won't break your back after holding it for an hour or two. Yeah, but then you sacrifice that a tone. little bit of that tone, tone and that sustain. all good too because these have their own unique tone. And you want to... You want to be different. Nobody wants to go out there and sound like everybody else. Right. Here we have a Gibson Les Paul, handmade, Nashville, Tennessee at the Gibson USA factory. Um, you've got a grade, top grade flame maple top. You've got straight grain mahogany for the back. The maple top starts out about three quarters of an inch thick, is hand carved. The uh, fretboard is done all, this is still another handmade American made guitar. So here's another Cadillac in a different type of guitar, different different pickups, different woods, different tone, different purpose, you know. Another beautiful guitar. Another beautiful Made guitar. in America. Made in America. Here we're looking in the $2,200, $2,300 price range. And of course, these can go way up, and too. And these go way up. You can spend uh, the sky's limit on buying a Gibson. But, if but, you want to wait for it, they'll, they'll build you about anything you want. And... And this is probably about as cheap as you really want to go what they call as far as standard. Or, yeah, yeah, this is a standard this is a standard tool for professional musicians all over the world. Now, go into something less expensive, say Epiphone. Let's step down to the Epiphone. We'll just set this right here and see what we're going to lose. Now, what we're losing here is one country of origin. You've still got a flame maple top. You've still got 
quality Grover tuning keys, you still got a mahogany back and set neck just like the Gibson. Where they come off with it is one for labor cost, country of origin, of course these are made overseas. Um, the maple cap is very thin and kind of bent over a carved mahogany and it's of course all CNC machined out. There is, you can't build a guitar without building part of it by hand, but there's a lot more machine work involved in the Epiphone. Um, they still sound good. The pickups, of course, aren't the same. The hardware is not quite as good. The electronics is not quite, but it's still top quality, still carries a lifetime warranty. So if you're an, an entry level guitar player, you still want to get a, a professional tool, Epiphone is a good way to go. Now, what about upgrading these things? kind of trying to get there. Still not you know, the same wood, not the same maple still cap. Not the same, but I mean, if you want it to sound more like a, a Gibson or any other guitar, you can switch out the pickups. This one is around 550 and for quality wood. You want to look for good construction, of course, put together properly with the neck at the right angle of the body. You know, you want to look at quality parts. Um, you could have the fastest car in the world and if you put bad tires on it or your brakes don't work, you're not going to get anywhere. Right. You'll get somewhere, you just won't be able to succeed. Or if you don't know how to drive. Yeah, you got to learn how to drive. <laughs> what would you do with someone, say someone that came in that didn't play guitar, wants to play guitar, and wants to doesn't really know how they should have it set up? Well, the first thing I'd do, I'd say, let me see your hands. I look at their hands, I think, okay, he's, gonna, he's got paws, he's going to need a little bigger neck. Otherwise, he's going to cramp trying to reach around it. Right. And then we look at, so we sit down, show them how to hold the guitar, and see where their mind frame is at for what they want to learn. And we just get started right there, showing them how to pick out a basic chord. Chord thing, it's got to be fun. If it's not fun, what's the point? There is no point. You know? No point in spending twenty five hundred dollars on something that's not fun. That's not fun. <laughs> Cabling. So you got to connect your guitar to your amplifier somehow. One of the few industries where you actually get what you pay for. You buy a good guitar. You buy a nice amp. You put nice strings on. You get it tuned right. You don't want to plug in with one of these. <laughs> you want to find something that's got some fat shielding. You want a heavy duty, high quality. Have you seen these yet, Steve? Mm -mm. Wow. He's using gold tips. He's got it wrapped in some kind of nylon. It's like I've seen, so I'm starting to see these appear on stages. Nice. They're pretty much indestructible and he's using oxygen free high grade wire and building them right here in Portland. This cable's $32, the guy's name that's, is York. That's not bad. Similar that's cable, good. say from Monster. The jazz cable uh, is $44.95. If you break your monster cable, you can send it back to them and they will give you another one. Wow. There's other brands, there's, there's Hosa, there's the Planet Waves, good quality. They even make a cable. If you switch guitars lock, this one has a circuit breaker switch on it. So, because the last thing you want to do to your amp is Just unplug pop. your guitar while it's turned on and plugged in. Yeah. That buzz noise that, oh, listen, buzz, 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 guess what? You're eating the voice coil of your speaker by doing that, cutting years off its life. This has a little circuit breaker, so you push a button, it doesn't make that noise. Let's talk about some cool effects, I think, first, that uh, people use to make cool sounds. Cool sounds. You know, most of those are what falls under category modulation effects. Modulation effects can be, and well, we're going to pick on electroharmonics because they're made in USA. A tremolo, which is where your volume goes in and out on you as you play. Uh, Creedence Clearwater made it really famous in stuff like uh, Pouring on the Bayou. You've got envelope followers or envelope filters where your sound kind of twinks on you as you hit the note. It's kind of like hitting a wah just quickly like that. You've got, that's a, that's a flanger. You've got flangers, so it, it takes your signal and changes the waveform. Um, you can hear this on uh, a lot of rock cuts from the 70s, 80s, 90s. I'll still, you, you plug the pedal in and you think it's five songs you've heard that on. What you gotta do is find what sounds best to you. Um, here's a phaser, here's a good example of a phaser. This is a Pfeiffer pedal made in Tillamook, Oregon. We like to support local. Nice. Handmade, great pedal, um, not 
really expensive. And honestly, if you're a Robin Trier fan, you can get really close with this pedal. And he used one of these. The Univibe. It's a totally different thing, and that pedal it comes in real close it's to really it. Really cool. I'll talk about some of the stuff on these as far as noise. As far as true bypass. Well, and all the EH stuff is a true bypass. Most of these are all true bypass at this level. This is $139 for this little box. Well worth it. Um, made in USA is always a good thing, but the stuff made in China and Japan, like from Boss, Digitech, it's all great pedals. Ibanez. Ibanez, yeah. Who, who has an of a tube screamer? Let's go to the next category. Overdrives and distortions. One of the most famous pedals of all time. But you've also got the Way Huge stuff, which is more of a boutique-y thing, from uh, like the Swollen Pickle. Everybody needs a Swollen Pickle. <laughs> Electro Harmonics, the Big Mouth, always a famous classic. And if you're a bass player, you got heavily the, recommend Right there, the Big Muff Pie well, they too. They make a Big Muff bass, but uh, you know, to be honest with I you. I like the original. I like the original better personally myself. If you want to shred the Boss Metal Zone, um, the uh, the full board metal from MXR. You've got all these other pedals, companies and companies. People invest millions of dollars getting the right tone. And you'll notice if a guitar player is into pedals, he's got more than one. He's going to have a, how many pedals do you have? Yeah, Steve? At one point, I had 27. All running. Seven pedals. I probably sold you a bunch. Oh, um, I think you sold all twenty-seven. <laughs> <laughs> then you start to get into some sound engineering and noise reduction, yeah. which we could talk about some we noise talk reduction. About noise reduction. Um, I'm out of it right now, but the hum debugger from uh, Electro Harmonics. The decimators. Is awesome. And for a noise gate, the decimator from ISP is one of my favorites. Now I'm using the uh, the decimator Pro Rack G. Yep. And what Great I like, pedal. what I like about it's not even a pedal. It's, it's not a rack, rack mount. mount. It's already always set up. Well, and what's nice is I can run my pedal board through a different through, into section. one side, and then the other one goes into my two, my my effects loop, and that way I don't have I'm not gaining a bunch of noise and then right. trying to threshold right. it all out right. and sucking my tone out. Right. I just have to use a That's little bit on each they end. Make that in a pedal version to the decimator G. That guy right here. Right there is that, the same as his rack piece, a little simplified. Does it's got an effects loop built into it. Abs basically. Absolute necessity. When when we get back to the the hum debugger is good for canceling the single coil hum in a high gain situation. Right. Uh, Joel bought a Rickenbacker 620, great handmade American guitar, single coil pickup. So he likes to rock. Right. So for first thing he did, he come got a hum debugger from us, Electro Harmonics, because it cuts the hum without cutting the tone. Well, well no, the, the other thing too though, again, the quality guitar, the quality electronics, yep. the quality amp, you need less of that. You're always gonna have some noise because you got cabling and you got all the stuff going on. These are like pedals. What about for processing? Something all in one. You know, there's great processors. Boss makes great ones from a couple hundred dollars on up. Um, I've got Line 6 makes awesome processing. Digitech makes great processors. Um, TC Electronics is in the game where they've got like a delay processor, a modulation of processor, a pitch harmony octave type processor. You know, we're talking quality stuff. Well, it's the even tide. Yeah. And even tied if you if you remember yeah. that. They had the it, TC Electronics is here like the no yeah. delay stuff. That stuff's That's good. Every good delay pedal in the world built into one box. And it's programmable. You can get what you want. So your choices are limitless.